Hello, and thank you for joining us. Whether you're looking to build an extension, conversion, or create something brand new, you're probably planning to approach things in the same conveyor belt way that's been accepted over the years, working with an architect first, then builders, and then once the project is effectively complete, thinking about all the important finishing touches that make a house a home, adding flair, style, and personality. Regardless of whether you're looking to work with an interior designer or go it alone, chances are you're still looking at things in this order. Design the space, build it, then fill it. But there is another way. I'm Karen Chapman, Creative Director and Lead Designer at Renaissance Interiors in Hartley Whitney. And I'm Hayden Cooper, Design Director and Founder of HSC Design and Build. Welcome to our Masterclass. We'd like to share with you what we've learned during our collaboration, how these lessons have helped our clients and how they can help you with your next project, saving you time, saving you money and helping you turn your dreams into a reality. In this masterclass, we will share with you some of the most important areas to consider to make your extension on build flow better and create a home in which your whole family can thrive. Working chronologically may seem logical, after all, nothing can go into a room until the room is finished. But by doing things this way, you often set yourself up for a costly retrofit. Your project will take longer, stresses will occur, and ultimately making sacrifice to your design. But what we've shown our clients is that by flipping this approach on its head, your design journey will run far more smoothly. Think of your project like a sat-nav. You know where you are, but if you don't know where you're going, how can you plan your journey? The same can be said when building your home. If you don't know what your elements are going to be within your home, how can you plan for a considered build, getting there in a logical way with each step leading to the next? Instead, take the time to consider what really matters to you and keep it at the forefront of the design process right from the start. And by planning and managing your build accordingly, you'll have a truer overview of the scope of your project eliminating those costly surprises along the way. So let's break down a few of these key ideas and areas where this collaboration approach can help you achieve everything you want from your projects, as well as having a practical effect on saving both your time and money. Understanding your family life is the key to designing your dream home. We want to hear all about you beyond the number of bedrooms and bathrooms you need. We want to know what makes your family tick, what your hobbies are and how you envisage your dream lifestyle to be. For example, do you have a hobby that doesn't physically fit into your current home and ideally needs dedicated space and design to fit seamlessly into your home and benefit your day to day life? Creating a dedicated boot room is possibly a solution. Allowing you to come in and shed your hobby clothes is a dream for many. Horse riders, cyclists, rugby, football, cricket players might benefit from a dedicated entrance and even a shower and washing machine, as well as appropriate storage for all their kits, boots and bags. And these little details will, be, will most certainly improve your daily life in your new home. Perhaps you play an instrument and need space to practice or showcase your talent. Whether you're a professional or play for your own enjoyment, playing for the family or teaching your grandkids their first tune, the piano needs its own space and its own light. You'll need to consider more than just the piano's footprint and its size, but by protecting it from direct sunlight, away from direct heat whilst maintaining a constant temperature is crucial. This is something that needs to be designed at an architectural level, considering both the ceiling heights and the surrounding acoustics for this treasured item. But maybe art is your passion and you need a home for a treasured painting or a cherished piece of furniture. Think carefully about what you have that can shine in a new environment. It doesn't have to be expensive or antique, it just has to be important to you and your family. Your home is about telling your family's story. So if you're gonna be designing your room around a showcase piece, you need to think about it right from the start to do it all the justice it deserves, not trying to shoehorn it in as an afterthought. Or maybe entertaining is your thing. So make sure you're keeping in mind your garden and any other outdoor areas. Don't think of your home finishing at the back door, Think of your home extending into your garden and its outdoor space, a place to relax and host the special people in your life. A space you might need to consider that's been in front of you all this time, adding overhangs for roof canopies, downlights and landscape lighting. 
your architect could create another room to extend your living space beyond the back door. Now let's head back inside and think about how your home is going to feel. Windows are enormously important to the look and light that your home achieves. The style, finish and proportions can make or break the design of your room. But from a lifestyle perspective, how are you ultimately going to dress the room? You might think that talking about window treatments at an architectural stage is wildly premature, but seriously, it's not. Each room will have its own needs and level, needs for different levels of privacy. So blackout or remote control blinds or even linking to a home automation system may be the answer. And all of these considerations are, considerations are pertinent to the build, but some may be as early as the architectural stage. If you're looking for a sleek contemporary look, you may not like the idea of seeing a curtain trap or pole, even if it is gorgeous. So concealing the heading of the curtains is an elegant, sophisticated way of fitting them, but this should be considered early as it could not only affect the ceiling height, but also how the ceiling is constructed with rafter direction or the space within the void to be able to create the, create the channel in which the curtains sit. Also, with the large bifold being so popular for that effortless inside-outside lifestyle, it's important to remember that once the sun goes down from, from the inside, they can just become a large black void. So not only, you know, that's not cosy or aesthetically pleasing, but also offers very little privacy. So window dressings are hugely important. Take this scenario, for example. This room is a stunning extension overlooking a lake. The windows have been constructed with a cantilever system so that the view is not hindered by a corner post. But as this room is going to be an executive home office with a requirement for cinematic presentations, we need to build in privacy, blackout blinds, and a retractable projector screen accessible all at the touch of a button. So structurally, we need to build in electric, electrically controlled curtain tracks hidden within the ceiling void. Together with these, we have blackout roller blinds, each that will align with each pane of glass, as well as the projector screen itself. And if this had not been considered, designed and planned for right from the architectural stage, then we won't get the slip finish that's operated by a single touch of a button. And finally, on the note of window dressings, we have the apex window, an absolute stunning feature. But from a privacy point of view, you may need to plan early for how you wish to dress this window up as it has such a unique shape. For some rooms, it might not be needed at all, but for bedrooms and offices, privacy is a must. And without pre-planning any solutions, your results will be compromised. And that is not what you deserve for a home that you've put so much into. So architecturally, you need to design the window with appropriate space around or power to be able to install in conspicuous blinds. Another consideration of this holistic approach is lighting, one of the most important elements of interior design. And done well, it adds that little something special that everyone will be bowled over by, but won't be able to pinpoint the reason. Within the fundamentals of ambient lighting, task lighting and accent lighting, there's almost limitless scope for creativity. Used correctly, beautiful lighting enhances everything around it, complementing and highlighting different features within a room, setting the mood and shaping the space. But all too often, the requirements of, in, of lighting design aren't taken into consideration early enough in the initial build, and they are left with a lazy scattering of spotlights and a few table lamps. Drop ceilings and coffered line, lighting are stylish ways of creating subtle atmospheric in, illumination. Firstly, you don't want to lose height and volume from your space. You, so you need to take this into consideration right from your architectural design. So to prevent the risk of having to drop a ceiling and which overlaps with the top of the windows, creating a jarring look from both inside and outside. You need to think about power, cabling, and access to the fixtures to maintain them, all of which could be integrated and hidden easier during the, up the build phase than if added afterwards. Accent lighting is an architect's best friend as it can elevate your home to new heights, drawing attention to subtle details and highlighting point points of interest. It doesn't have to be safe for internal use either. External lighting can showcase the beautiful entrance, draw your eyes to detail of brickworks or columns and create a stunning greeting for any guest. 
in virtual lighting between cladding to project the textures and depth to the property or lighting water features into the facade of the house either on a wall or as a centerpiece to a driveway can create a beautiful welcome but of course the best kind of light to harness is natural light we've already spoken about the glass apexes the bifold doors and some of the options available to you Another popular concept for your extension is to create a glass atrium using a lantern roof to flood entire rooms with daylight. The phrase flat roof can make people shudder as it conjures up images of kind of 1970s style garage, but we're pleased to say that flat roofs have moved on in leaps and bounds and now a flat roof can be a thing of beauty, creating a space that's both bright and open as well as blending into you know, naturally into its environment. Now let's talk a little about the different types of room we might have and the way we move through them. A popular contemporary option is for an extension to comprise of one single great room, a multi-purpose living space for the whole family to work, play, eat and entertain. Thinking of your interior design is integral in making most of this style of room, but understanding how each area will be filled how people will move from one end of the room to the other and how they'll spend their time there. Without digging into the purpose of your project, whether that's to accommodate a growing family or offer additional storage, you may be left with a beautiful but impractical space that doesn't really answer your initial reasons for wanting it. So really explore what you need the space to give to you now and as your family grows and changes to ensure that you're getting value now and in the future beyond which is on trend right now. Another consideration is doors. You need to have a lot of space to allow them to open and close. But something that we think is underutilized is the pocket door. Pocket doors are a fantastic way of creating a closing door but not losing nearly a square meter of floor space for every door that opens into a room. Pocket doors can be wooden, glass, single, double, small, tall, but they must be considered at an early stage of design. Perhaps if it's a load bearing wall, you need to provide additional width in the span above to the steel that's required. But it will give you a much more open plan feel as the door will be reversed back to the wall and out of sight. Perhaps it might even help the light to the next room. One additional area that we should have mentioned is the office, home office setup. 2020 for, forced us all to change the way we work and we see working from home to be continuing as the new normal. If you need more formal or private working space, you may need to be considering an extension for just that purpose. But don't forget repurposing your, <clears throat> your pre-existing underused spaces. Just by looking at your home and looking at existing flow, you might find that you've already got the space there and that something that can be transformed and revamped is something that will benefit your entire family. The most unusual office transformation that I had inquiries about this year was to change a third bathroom into an office. It was on the ground floor of a three-storey townhouse and was rarely used and had been used for storage for nearly a year. So it was kind of perfect, really. So to make this work, we had to neutralise all the plumbing and install electrical power points, but no extension was required. And it gave them so much more. It was all about evaluating the existing space. As you can imagine, we could expand more on this subject, but hopefully this has given you a better understanding of how beneficial forward thinking and collaborative approach can benefit you. Whether you're working with a large team or embarking on a project on your own, using these principles of understanding your requirements and visualizing your space from an interior design perspective before planning your architectural design and build can save you a lot of headaches along the way. Sadly, we've run out of time today, but we hope you found these tips helpful to make your home or extension shine. If you've got any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. And if you'd like a copy of the information from this masterclass, please go to the link below. Thank you so much for joining us and enjoy the show.